I need someone to tell me what to do about the Riemann Rude Furnace Error Code 57. Error Code 57 is high pressure switch open. If the furnace only used flashing LED status lights to tell you what is wrong, 5 blinks isn't used to indicate anything but 6 means the line and neutral wires are reversed. That could only happen if it was miswired. Or the neutral ground is lost. Error code 57 is the error for the more advanced stream and rude furnaces, while the others use the 2 blink error code. That 2 blink error means the pressure switch is open and doesn't close when the inducer is on. The error is somewhat specific, but there are still a number of causes. The issue could be a broken pressure switch, due to a clogged flue or low line voltage. I don't feel better about getting a slightly more specific numeric error code than a series of flashing lights. Except that I won't misdiagnose it because I blinked and missed a light blinking at me. But before you replace hardware, check the pressure in the hose connected to the switch. Since pressure below the level stamped on the switch means it won't run even if a new switch is used. I don't know how to check the pressure, or don't have the tools to do so. You could also have this error due to high winds limiting the airflow by creating a vacuum due to the pressure differential. That typically causes lower pressure, not higher pressure. If you have a heat pump, one of the most common causes of the high pressure switch open error is a dirty condenser coil, especially the inner one. I have a furnace, not a heat pump. That rules out an overcharge of refrigerant and malfunctioning condenser fan motor, too. That doesn't rule out a malfunctioning blower motor though. Yes. And you could check the motor capacitor to see if it is causing the motor to draw too much power, overheat and fail. What else could cause this error? A system that doesn't have the right duct work for the cubic feet per minute it is trying to move could cause the issue. That would show up when we first tried to use it. Then the problem is due to a loose connection in the control circuit. You're right. It always could be a control board problem. And if in doubt of what to do with that, do what you do with a gaming console, reboot it before calling tech support.